few days ago, Tim Design made a video about all money style. The video is quite good, but he's sharing few ideas that are not quite right. Actually, I think they are completely wrong, and I'm going to tell you why in this video. But first, maybe you are thinking, who are you? to say what is right and what is wrong. And of course, if we are talking about style, there is not right and wrong. But in this case, when we are talking about all money, it's more like about the philosophy. It's not just in style. And I know quite well this philosophy. Let me introduce myself. My name is Vlad and I've been working for different brands here in London as a made to measure specialist, suit specialist made to measure. And actually I'm still working part time for one of them in Britain Street doing made to measure suits. I'm not a tailor, I'm the guy, I'm the suit specialist and the guy that is going to help through all the process of choosing the fabric and I work with the best fabrics like Vitale Barberis, Loro Piana, Scabal, taking all the measurements choosing what is best visually for the body type. I've also been in the factories checking through all the process how the garments are made, checking the quality. I went to PT Uomo a few years ago in Florence. I also have friends working for some of the best companies here in the UK like Gassiano Garlin, Tarbal and Nasser, Drake's, just to mention a few of them. But most importantly, I've been applying this philosophy for myself for eight years now. That's why when Tim says this, the real old money quiet luxury people will get these essentials at brands such as Loro Piana, The Row, or Brunello Cuccinelli. It's completely wrong. Old money style is not about spending a lot of money. It's not about going to Brunello Cuccinelli's and Loro Piana's. By the way, I made a video about Loro Piana that you can watch it later if you want. Loro Piana is for super mega wealthy people, billionaires, or people that just want to spend a lot of money in things that are overpriced, like Chinese. I don't know what happened with the Chinese people, but if you go to these stores, you can always see Chinese people or Russian oligarchs or people from Saudi Arabia. You know, these people that have a lot of money to spend or they have this preference to buy these kind of things. But all money is to choose wisely is to choose wisely the clothes is to see the clothes like an investment that we do in ourselves and it's not either going to buy like tim says but if you're just trying to emulate the aesthetic without the hefty price tag you can get very similar looking pieces from high street brands like zara cause h&m or abercrombie because that is fast fashion are clothes that are not going to last long and we want things that last long things that we need to focus on what is behind, what is behind the clothes. We are not looking for just the design, we are looking for how it's made, where it's made, what type of fabric, what type of materials, everything that is behind the clothes. So we need to focus on companies, on brands that are in the middle, brands that are still family business or with small productions locally made, like Sunspell for polos and t-shirts made in UK or made in Portugal, really good quality, well made, or John Smedley for knitwear, made in the UK with merino wool or cashmere, they are using good quality fabrics, or also private white for jackets or outwear, or even for knitwear, they are doing quite really nice things, made them in the UK, or bell stuff, or even barber. I'll talk about these brands in future videos, but you see, this is the point, the point is going things that are in the middle. If you're going to try to emulate this aesthetic, you're probably going to get the cheaper stuff from high street stores anyways, unless you are very wealthy. That's why Tim is wrong. By the way, it's funny though that he said that Loro Piana is too expensive. A little bit outside my budget range, so I'm going to have to return it. And he is actually wearing things from Balenciaga, Givenchy and other designer brands that are quite expensive as well and are not worth it at all and even are more like for new rich style, this kind of thing, at least that's my opinion. Let me know what do you think on the comments below and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.